Hi everybody, welcome to Like My Way. Feels like it's been an eternity since I've posted on on, on YouTube or since I've done uh, Pick a Car. I think it's been four weeks. Uh, four or five weeks. It seems like it's been a while. I don't think I ever skipped more than one week, so I'm glad to be back. I needed to recharge. Um, not that not something bad happened. I just needed to recharge, reevaluate what I want, uh, want to what I want to do with the channel, where I want this to go. I want how I want to use it. Um, you know, the topics and and whatnot. So um, so I took my little break and here here we go. I'm back. Um, I'm doing this pick a card from my home office, which is a lot smaller than my regular table uh, at the office, but uh, I felt inspired today and I was working from home, so here we go. Uh, the topic today is what's your best move here? What's the best thing to do right now in this situation that you have in mind? Whatever it is, it can be about work, school, friendship, relationship, um, anything, anything, moving, What's the advice about the situation that you have in mind? So, three panels. You'll see the close-up right after this. Timestamps are in the de description box as well with the infos for personal readings and all the ways you can reach me. Um, and there we go. So, I hope you enjoy this. I'll see you at your reading. Group one, welcome to your reading. I just want to take a second to sage uh, everything here since I've done quite a bit of readings today. And uh, I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling like ex good excited. Uh, but, but I don't want to feel, I want to be calm while I do the reading. And when I sage, I channel more. Or it's easier. So, um, all right, I'm calmed down now. I'm just gonna put this off. Don't want any fire. There we go. So, today, if you skip the intro, we're checking out what's your best move in your situation right now. Whatever the situation is, it could be about friendship, any kind of relationship, about work, school, moving, anything. If you're wondering, like, if you should subscribe to this meditation class or whatever workshop, anything, what's your best move? What you should do? So this is obviously a very general reading. For the collective so lots of people are checking it out if you are looking for more details or insight on your specific situation you can go visit my website I have small readings that are often more than enough to clarify stuff and um, yeah so you can go and check that out so what is the best move here for my group one in their situation at the moment what's the best thing for them to do in their best interest best and highest interest we have the king of pentacles reversed so remember there's no good or bad here it's just well, this is what is best for you to do we have the sun the two of pentacles reversed Five of Pentacles, and I'll pull some advices after. And Queen of Cups. Okay, you got to listen to your heart. That's the first thing. You got to do what makes you feel good, what feels right. Now we got like cards that are that could seem scary, 
but I don't think they they are. I just want to investigate a bit more. This Five of Pentacles, because the Five of Pentacles is about abandoning. Death reversed. It's not the end of something. Okay, so it's like, okay, 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 I get it, I get it. Three of Pentacles. There's something about it's not the right time. It's not the right time. It's not the best timing. Um, it's saying like you need to maybe wait or work on this a bit. It's not quite right. Or you have an idea, but it's not exactly it. You gotta take just take a step back and really evaluate what makes you happy what makes you feel fulfilled what you care about it's like not don't take care of or don't pay attention to either judgment or the money that it could bring or like the it doesn't have to be necessarily money but what you would get from it in the material material world look at what you're going to gain emotionally from it so that's going to help you uh, make your move let's check out this two of pentacles reversed seven of wands and the nine of wands reversed you need to simplify whatever is going on here i don't know if there's something about maybe apologizing for some of you if it has something to do with um with a relationship but or if you're waiting for someone to apologize but know that it's not about you it's not a rejection for any situation it's not a rejection it's not the end it's not there's something worth fighting for but it needs to be simplified and it cannot be pushed. It's not the right time. So just take care of your emotions now and, and your heart and what's more tangible, materialistic, leave that aside for now. It's just like it's not lining up. So it basically it's telling you, wait um i don't i don't like the word waiting i don't like waiting or hoping like trust that it will fall into place once you kind of surrender once you decide to let go and and not do anything there's no action here to be taken there's no action it's like things are working their way through on their own it's not for you to do it Right now, it's to take care of your own happiness and putting yourself first. So, in all situations. So, think about you, not about the outside world, people. Just, um, and, but keep it simple. And if you feel that there's resistance from the outside, opinions of people and stuff like that, I wouldn't say to not take into consideration because people sometimes they they're worried about us and they want to give their opinion and their input but if you feel like it's affecting you too much or influencing your choices um maybe don't share as much infos with those people um yeah so that's <laughs> your best move you gotta tell me in the comments how this resonates what it means to you if it makes sense uh, i love reading your comments there's never enough so even just emojis uh, i love so um let me know and let's get you a few advice first one wait a second first one here says I wake up today with joy in my heart and clarity in my mind. 
you have the joy here it's like choose the joy choose you choose to be happy choose what makes you feel good and let go of what is pulling you down there's this great sense of like unfinished business or lack of closure here for some of you so it's like you don't need to ignore it but just acknowledge it but your day doesn't have to be based on that feeling acknowledge that disappointment maybe but you don't need to dwell on it all day choose happy choose you first and here in the back it says this is an amazing affirmation to help you start your day feeling energized make your conscious decision daily to have a great day well that's what i just said <laughs> so choose your own happiness i never use this deck on the channel because it's at home um i do a rotation of my decks regularly but i don't think i've no this one never been at the office yet it's based uh it's from a book called the untethered soul um amazing book amazing for those who are in uh self-growth awareness you know awakening higher consciousness all that stuff amazing book it's a big book i got it as a know you book it's in it's 25 hours um but amazing that's the deck that comes with it or or is a complement it so that you can work on on the principle it's amazing for those who are, who are interested i'm not getting paid to tell you that i just i love the book okay here it says experiencing energy enthusiasm joy and love if you can feel that all the time then you can then who cares what happens outside again saying focus on your joy who cares about what they think you choose your joy and love you choose how you feel it is your right so enthusiasm joy and love if you can feel that all the time then who cares what happens outside because inside you're at peace inside you're happy so the outside um will not um affect your happiness it doesn't mean that it doesn't affect your life but your happiness you choose it it's your choice and let's go with a tiny baby card oh missing one sorry message for my group one become it's number three close your eyes what does your best self look like open your eyes become your vision so it's like do it do what you feel is right for you that's your reading do what you feel is right for you don't do it for the outside don't fear of letting down people or to be let down. If you choose your happiness, all will fall into place. There you go. That's the message. Let me know how this resonates in the, in the comments. Thank you so much for being with me. Take care of yourself. Goodbye. Hello, group two. Welcome to your reading. So if you skip the intro... Today, well, it's been like four or five weeks I haven't posted on YouTube. So uh, I took a little bit of uh, time for myself. Put myself first, you know. <laughs> we say it all the time. But when it comes to us, it's a bit difficult to do it. So I took some time to reevaluate and recharge. So here we are. I'm back. Um, today we're checking out what's the best thing to do for you right now and your situation whatever it is so what's in your best interest what will bring you the most uh, the better outcome so what's your best move right now in this situation 
This could be about work. It could be about um, school, moving, relationship, vacation, workshops you want to take, anything. So what's your best move? Okay, we have the moon and the three of swords. And the three of pentacles, uh, the three of wands, sorry, what am I saying? Two of swords reversed. And seven of pentacles. Okay, the first thing is that time will heal. Okay, time will heal. That's the first message I'm getting. Um, I'm not seeing anything to like take action. Actually, I'm, I'm seeing it's time to pause. It's time to pause. It's time to feel something hurts. It hurts bad. My throat is really tight right now. Um, and it creates confusion or lots of doubts, like not knowing which direction to take. So let's, I'm just going to clarify if um, the Three of Swords and Two of Swords. You can't overthink it. Okay. It's like it's time for change. Yeah. But don't take a rushed decision here. It's like what the work you've done or the steps you took will pay off you it require requires some patience um this this hurts so i wanna i just want to know more about it okay king of wands bottom of the deck is the nine of cups okay best thing to do allow the situation to transform on itself by itself um it's like it's it's saying here you cannot run away from the pain or the deception or the betrayal it can go all the way to the betrayal uh it could be just like a feeling of rejection you maybe you lost your job um but this this hurts but it's like you need to own your feelings you need to own it um so Either like you hurt someone or you're being hurt, but you need to own the feeling and own the situation. So if it's you who left or hurt someone, for example, you need to take responsibility of it and allow that person to, uh, to heal, to take their time. You cannot rush anything. If it's you that's been hurt, you need to own your feelings and live them. Not, not, don't try to run away from them. Here, happiness will come back. Okay, you have the the nine of cups here. That's beautiful, uh, and the knight of swords reverse here underneath. It's it's like saying there's nothing more that you can do at this moment. You need time. To do its own work. There's a journey here with the moon. Uh, it's transformational. It's also very aligned. And it's super calm. Uh, it's like walking in the dark. And being guided only. Walking in the night. Let's say. Being only uh, lit by the moonlight. Um, and following this little path. So it's like one baby step at the time. That you can see you don't see the outcome it's like don't push the outcome when you only see three step ahead so it's like step by step allow time allow time it will come don't overthink uh don't try to rationalize uh, don't push just own own the feelings or own the situation if don't deny if you think you did something wrong you know and if you're hurt, allow those feelings to resurface. Don't bury them. Don't suffocate your feelings. It's all going to be okay. But it needs time. Happiness will come after the storm. Okay? It's like you're in this 
place where it's between storms and just just allow allow it to come back to happiness it will come okay so that's for your tarot basically it's saying to be patient and to own own whatever hurts there might be some regrets here these two cards are pretty intense together so yeah so just give it time it's not saying to reach out or to make any moves it's like it will come all together at some point but it's like you need to go into on this journey of healing and give it time okay so that's for your tarot let's get you some advice if you are interested in a personal reading you can go on my website there's tiny readings 15 minutes there's even like a five minute reading like a one question reading if you need uh, if you want to dig a bit more into your personal situation because this is like for the collective it's a very large audience that will watch this so you can always check out my website all right advice for group two the only approval I need is my own. Um, makes me think. If you're afraid of of disappointing someone, it feels like a father figure, like being afraid of judgment. Let's just own it. Own what you want to do. Own it. Okay. Worrying about what other things is only a distraction to living courageously. Nobody knows your need better than yourself. So you don't need the approval of others. You got to do it for yourself. And it will come with time, but it, it's, it's, it's a journey, you know? If you're a people pleaser and it's hard for you to say no, you got to practice. Say no and say no and try try again. And sometimes you're going to say yes and you're going to regret. It's just like, you got to try it again. Advice for group two. Feel. It's okay to feel something and not know the source. It's also okay to feel something without trying to change how you feel. That's exactly here what I was saying. Own what's going, going on inside of you. Own it. It's okay. It's okay to be with the feeling. This deck I never used on, on the channel. Because I'm doing my reading from home today. It's a smaller table. Just as many cards. And I rotate my cards from one office to the other. I got three offices, you know. Um, so this one I don't think I ever use on YouTube. It's come. It comes from a book called The Unfeathered Soul. Very big book, but very interesting for those uh, into uh, self development and uh, on their spiritual journey. Amazing book. Um, I got it as an audiobook. It was 25 hours, so it's big, okay? It says, going beyond. So, like, crossing bridges. Going over challenges. Pushing yourself maybe a bit more, but allowing time to do the work. Being kind to yourself. It says a spiritual journey is one of constant transformation to grow. You must give up the struggle to remain the same and learn to embrace change at all times. So to grow, you must give up the struggle to remain the same and learn to embrace the change of, at all times. So that's what it is. It's okay to change. And sometimes, most of the time, it's not comfortable. But it's to be open to change, step by step, little bit by little bit. 
there you go group two this is your reading i hope you enjoyed let me know in the comments how this resonate for you i always love the comments and take good care of yourself i'll see you soon goodbye hello group three welcome to your reading so if you skip the intro i'm doing my reading today my pick a card from home so it's a smaller table um i just felt inspired to do it today instead of tomorrow so um so yeah different table but same girl doing it all right so today we're checking out what is the best thing for you to do right now in your situation what's in your best interest right now in your situation so it could be about work relationships uh moving workshops you want to take school whatever okay what is the best advice so this is a general reading so obviously you're gonna have to adapt to your situation what doesn't fit leave it and just keep what resonates with you you have the two of swords to start judgment temperance three of swords ace of cups reversed just going to clarify this three of swords and the ace of cups page of wands reversed five of swords reversed okay well the general the, the big message here is saying forgive find the inner strength to free yourself from whatever hurts or whatever is the doubt listen to your intuition but you got it for yourself and this card is really um, illustrating very well how it feels allow it out live your emotions regain some kind of balance it's like the yin and the yang or divine feminine divine masculine energy are uh, not quite balanced so it's just like regain that i'm seeing somebody standing on a ball on a big balloon or a big ball and going like this with their feet to keep their balance going left right left right trying to keep it stable the big ball like an exercise ball that's what i'm seeing an exercise ball so to regain some kind of inner peace or yeah balance um stay strong but and determined uh, but I'm going to say devoted to yourself. Stay devoted. Don't give up. Um, so it looks like you had a big disappointment. And it, it hurts. It hurts a lot. But it's saying like, you know what? Let's move on. Let's heal from this. Recover. Turn your, your energy or your... Um, your focus inward, not trying to fix the outside, heal yourself here, okay? It's it's like saying, you know, uh, maybe it was a mistake, maybe it was immature, maybe it should not have happened, maybe it's not fair, but it is what it is, and now it's time to regain some type of balance and keep moving. So... If you're looking to say something, say it. It's like it has to come out. You know what to do. You have your intuition here telling you which direction to go. Let's free yourself here. Heal yourself. Or heal the situation. Regain some kind of balance. So, okay. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna check out the Two of Swords here. See if we can get a bit more details on this. 
I'm gonna take this back. Tell me more about the Two of Swords, huh? Magician. Okay, you can do it. It's like, you can do it. Don't hesitate. You know what to do. Um, you know what to do. This could also be like, go back, apologize, let it out. And something needs to be said. Something needs to be said. You have two cards of forgiveness or reconciliation here. So it's like, fix it. It's saying, fix it, say it. Get it, get it off your chest. You can do it. That's your reading. <laughs> okay. That's, that's what I'm getting. So let's see. Um, let's see. We're going to give you a few advices. Advice for group three here. And the situation that they have in mind. I am enough. So you're enough. Group three. You are enough. Compare to no one. We all have our own journey and our own rhythm. It is okay to want more for yourself, but be gentle with yourself in the process. Be your own supporter rather than your own enemy. Maybe you are blaming yourself for some of you. Maybe you're having regrets. Maybe you're afraid to make a move or to change something. Um, maybe there's guilt. But it's really like it's saying do it. You got to free yourself here. Just do it. Be honest. Uh, be authentic to yourself. Okay. You're enough. So it's like you deserve better. It's saying you deserve better than what's what's going on now. Advice for group. Oops. Ascend. You have outgrown where you are now. Dream bigger, reach higher. It's like really you gotta get out of the situation. Free yourself. I cannot say it more. Do what's right. Try something new. It's like you have all the tools and all the capacity to do it. So don't hesitate. Here you have freeing yourself. Okay, well. Free yourself. I'm not saying it. It's a card. Do you see it? It's very pale. This deck you never seen on the channel because it's fairly new and it's in my office at home. I didn't do the rotation yet. Um, it, it comes from a book called Untethered Soul. Um, a big book. The audio book is 25 hours. Um, amazing book. So this is cards to integrate the principles that are in the book. So... It says that wish is blocked and buried within you form the root of fear. Fear, fear is caused by blockages in your energy. So it's like you need free yourself. <laughs> Find those blockages, identify your fears and work through them. I know it's easier said than done. If you are interested in a personal reading uh, to dig into this a bit more, you can find all my readings are on my website. Uh, there's readings five minutes all the way to an hour. So big ranges of prices. I'm going to pull you one more advice. They're telling me I'm not done. So, so you're getting one more. Um, so there's that. I'm also a life coach if you feel the need. 
So don't don't hesitate to reach out, ask me questions if you want. But it feels like you're at crossroads, group three, and it's time to make that move. Whether it's a whether whether it's a relationship or a job or there's something like you gotta get out of it. You gotta change, and you know you know it. You know it. It's time. It's time to create that change with the judgment card. And you're going to need the courage. This reminds me of the strength card. It says, jump in. Your courage will help you to go through it. So be brave. Be brave. Group three. This is your reading. There you go. Thank you so much for being with me. Take good care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. And um, I'll see you soon. All right. Thank you so much. Goodbye.